Maximo is delivered with hierarchy capabilities in several areas. Today, we'll discuss just a couple. Location hierarchies vary within industry and facility. Many are hybrids because of various sites doing many things that are often different within the same organization, uh, including house office space, manufacturing floor, chemical processing areas, and so on. This means that your hierarchy will be reflective of both a facilities type operation in a traditional building, floor, room type presentation, as well as what, what else goes on at the facility, such as manufacturing lines or processes, utilities, distribution, and so on. Work order hierarchies can vary as well. Location hierarchies help with reporting and being able to drill down into your costs in addition to costs being presented on individual records. So at the top level of this, a delivered report with Maximo, you can see costs. Uh, and in this particular case, at the top level, the boiler appears to be taken at most of the cost. You can literally drill down by clicking on the hyperlink that's afforded you in the report and you get to the next level. So then boiler becomes the top level and then you see the lower level locations and where the larger cost is being incurred. And you can continue this process down to get to a lower level where you may have no further locations and no further places to drill down and you can dig into that individual location and see where those costs are coming from. And again, this is the report is delivered out of the box with the product. It really just depends on you to actually build the hierarchy correctly in your application, your implementation. This is an example of a work order hierarchy. As work activities are planned and reported at the child or lower levels individually, their estimates and actuals are automatically rolled up and added to the current work order in calculations. And I'll show you where that will actually display. Um, and those would effectively cover the entire work package, uh, including the, the current work order. So we begin with the hierarchy itself. And then you're able to look at the work order costs which is just an action in the work order tracking application. Uh, it should be available in quick reporting as well. And it basically ties in, uh, essentially, the left side is really the cost for the specific work order you're looking at, work order 7,000 being the ultimate parent in this case, uh, having no work actually charged to it. And then the cost that rolls up, and these are calculated for display purposes here, um, as the work package cost going a little further uh, when we look at searches and in this case the advanced search for work order tracking and we have the ability to search by location so let's say we look for boiler work that is not complete and keeping the defaults and everything else and we get a list of work orders where the location is equal to boiler which is consistent with what's displayed. If we go a little bit further and we leverage the search location hierarchy, now we're actually looking at work orders that are uh, assigned along with other criteria to uh, boiler being the uh, parent level location and looking through the ancestry for the boiler lower levels for any uh, locations, including the boiler itself, and any assets that are at those locations and the work orders that correspond to them. So essentially looking at everything related to the boiler and not just the, the boiler itself. So looking at anything in its, in its hierarchy. And of course that generates <laughs> a query. Uh, and the syntax is a little bit large and messy, but 
uh, the one benefit of having the advanced search is it allows you to let Maximo generate the bulk of your query. Uh, and then you can, if you need to get in here and modify it somehow, uh, but at least it takes care of the heavy lifting, hopefully. And that's it for now. Thanks.